Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of adjacent angles. This is standard 4.7e in the great state of Texas and we are using item number three off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have some angles we need to look at first. We've got some angle, an angle here, MLN, has a measure of 41 degrees. And then angle NLP is a right angle, and we need to find the measure of MLP. Now that's a lot of letters here. Let's make sure we understand what each of these mean. So this first one is angle. So here's our symbol for angle. Think of it like a, like a less than sign, MLN. And that is going to equal 41 degrees. So if we look at MLN, we can trace it in our central letter right there, L. That's going to be our vertex. So that's where the angle is actually going to be. Whenever you see those three letters together, just look for the central one. That's our vertex. So it's M. We're going to go to L. But you notice we can go two different ways. We can go up to N. We can go up to P. This one goes to MLN. So that means right here, see this L, that's our vertex. Right there, they give us that as 41 degrees. And then they give us angle NLP. So let me do NLP. So L, again, is our vertex. But we're going to start with N. We're going to go down to L. But now we're going to go up here to P. So from N to L to P. It's a right angle, so I'm going to put a little box right here. Now, what they don't tell us is how much a right angle is. We need to know what a right angle is. So let's step over here for just a moment, and let's make sure we understand our three types of angles. We've got acute, we've got right, that's what NLP is, it's a right angle, and it is obtuse is our third kind. So everything starts with our right angle. Right angles are 90 degrees. So that is what we need to know right here. 90 degrees, just we need to remember that number. If we were to put a protractor there, it would be on 90. If we were to rotate this, we would have one line straight left and right and one line straight up and down because they are perpendicular lines. They are square corners. That's how I typically remember them, is think of them as the corner of a square. So we've got 90 degrees right here. So acute is going to be anything uh, less than 90. So that's uh, anything from 1 up to 89. And then uh, obtuse is going to be greater than 90. And that's going to be from 91 up to uh, 179. Once you get 180, uh, which is an answer we have here that is a straight angle. So acute are typically uh, smaller like this. Your right angle kind of looks just like this. Uh, and then your obtuse can be a little bit bigger. Obviously there's a range there. So we now know MLN is 41. We figured out that NLP is a right angle, but that right angle equals 90 degrees. Now we need to find the measure of MLP. Okay, so angle M. L, P, so I'm going to start with M, I'm going to trace it right there, L, once again, is my vertex, but now I'm going to go up to P. So I'm looking for that right there, that big chunk right there, but if we notice that, well, M, L, P definitely is going to be obtuse. Look how big this is. This is an obtuse angle, if we are looking from here to here. So that means it's going to be greater than 90. So it's not going to be 82. It's not going to be 49. Those are both less than 90. And it's not going to be 180 because 180 is actually a straight angle. It looks like a straight line with just a dot in the middle, which means we don't even have to add these up. If we wanted to, we could add these up. 90 and 41, since they're adjacent, we can just add them up, but that's the only one that's left is D, 131. 